I'm mad. I'm tired of being broke. This ain't no joke. Ain't nobody helping me. I'm mad. Look here, I've done everything I can. Me, Ma ain't helping me. I'm really, really tired, man. I, I'm, I'm just really fed up, man. I'm pissed off. Hell, if I'm gonna be mad, I'm gonna make somebody else mad. Dusty. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have a story of the unknown Dusty. Now, there's no picture, but as I understand, they were able to apprehend the Dusty operating in Dusty Land. Because of all this drama and trauma. Check it out, fair use. But I'm suspecting, since there is no picture of the person who's been arrested, I'm suspecting it might be Dusty Dan. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon to you. This is what a dust to do. Something stupid, something really, really, really bad. Check it. A lot of cleanup going on after dozens of cars are damaged at a West Suburban dealership. And now we're learning more about exactly what happened overnight after Schomburg police arrested the suspect. Here's CBS 2's Mugo Digwe. We've learned the suspect, who police say is in his 20s, didn't just damage the cars here at the Honda dealership. He did the same thing at the Patrick BMW and Ford dealership, so three in total. It's much easier to see the damage in broad daylight. The back windshields of vehicle after vehicle smashed. You want to be angry, but I guess it doesn't do you much good. Matthew Ashford is the general manager at Shopper wow. Honda dealership. He says the suspect hit his dealership around 1.30 this morning. How long he was there, not clear, but he sure left a lot of damage behind. So we have about 83 cars uh, damaged. 20 of the cars belong to customers who dropped them off overnight for service. We're in the process of notifying the customers and uh, about 63 mm. at latest count is our uh, own inventory. We spoke with Schomburg police this morning. They tell us the suspect was arrested as he was vandalizing other vehicles at a different dealership. Nothing was stolen, but for the dealerships affected, it's yet another issue to tackle. It's frustrating, uh, you know, in this in this period right now of inventory shortage to not have the cars that I need right 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 now to sell is a uh, is really a challenge for the customers whose cars were damaged. You know, unfortunately, they'll have to make claims through their insurance. And uh... yes, once again, dust buckets. Who would do this? A low performing man. You're angry, mad at the world. I don't have it. Nobody gonna have them. See it, ma'am. See it. See it. All right, I'm broke. These folks buy a new car. They drive a new car. I'm sick of men broke too, man. This ain't right. This ain't fair. Under the floorboards, Billy. It could be any dust bucket. Could be Mr. Wong doing wrong, dusty damn little hood man. But this right here, another example of what? Dusties bring drama. Dusties bring trauma. So the financial implication, the dealership at this location has 63 windows busted out. And then this inferior low performing dust bucket angry bird man also went down to another dealership and did the very same thing. See, money is inflation, money is getting tight. Uh dust buckets, I'm I'm willing to say that they're kind of running out of options. That's why you don't want them around. With a dust bucket around, some crap is always going to go down. So when they get angry, they are like infantile. They're like children. They start to act out. I'm going to go down here and buzz these windows out. I'm going to buzz these windows out. That man make me mad. They're very envious and jealous. But see, the dust buckets, I don't have any sympathy. I, I, I don't. I don't have any sympathy. My plans for the week have totally changed. Why? I'm a proactive person. So, let me give an example why I have no sympathy. Now, keep in mind, we've got the dust has been drama and trauma, the financial applications. They're going to spend a lot of money on glass claims, having to get that glass replaced. Oh, and don't forget it. It's leather. They're trying to sell cars. What if some of that glass may puncture some of the seating in the vehicle? Uh-oh. Down goes the price. A financial application. Money on glass claims. Oh, and don't forget also. The people that drop their cars off at the dealership thinking it's going to be safe and sound, going to get that call. Not the call of, oh, your car's ready. 
no, the call of uh, your car is ready, and you might want to go ahead and call the insurance company for a glass claim. What? Yeah, you might want to go ahead and call them because um, a man has been arrested, and uh, he beat the glass at this dealership. 63 vehicles and unfortunately uh one of yours was included so someone has to make that call ergo unless it's under warranty the person is now paying the dealership for repairs now you got to pay for a glass claim why due to a low performing man being dusty and dusty land this is what they do that's the financial application and you know if you're not new to the channel it's too much dust in the nation now, here's why I don't have sympathy for Dusties. A lot of people move too late, okay? One thing we know for sure, and especially in the BC, someone is going to always take care of a Dusty. That dust bucket that they're not showing his picture, I think in Santa Monica, uh, after fighting the, 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 um, the postal workers, a mammy took a man, yeah, I'll do a story on that one. But see... They move too late. Dusties, even sometimes you may have a working Dusty. They're very complacent. They don't know how to get that hustle on. As I said, my schedule has totally changed up for the next couple of days. All right? I was going to have me a beach day. Oh, yeah. Friend of mine, somebody I know, but leaving out the country. Uh-oh, you got that swinging place. Oh, yeah. I already have a key. But guess what? I got to handle business someone stopping what they're doing i see it as a business opportunity i'm like oh yeah you don't have to worry online store matter of fact we already got started last night yeah and i don't have to do it no it's an opportunity to make some money i'm game so dust buckets they move too slow they're very complacent they never want to hustle that's why i don't have any sympathy for them i really don't a good time to maybe, and I was telling someone, you want to get a side hustle or a business going, a good time to start one is when, you, when, um, when you're able to cover your expenses. Okay, you're paying your bills, you got a little change left over, that, that's awesome. Now is a good time. Why? Why wait till you're sitting up here worried about your rent and your money? Because if you're worried about your daily living, that, in my opinion, is not the best time to start a business because you can't concentrate. You can't concentrate on starting a business when you're like worried about food for next week or gas in your car or your rent. Okay? You want to try to be at your best so you can, you can really think clear and not make a haste decision and have it cost you on the back end. Or bring your business plan just to an abrupt end. So I was saying to a person, that's the best time to start. You got a little change. Now is a good time to get started. You may lose a little sleep. Maybe can't go out as much again. I already had a, a weekend plan. Uh, I got to pick up the phone and say, hey, better change your plans. This person is leaving the country. Going to be gone for a week. I was about to have myself in the lap of luxury. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I got a key. No, no worries. Gated. I, we, we, we good. We good, chief. But the opportunity to work and make some money takes precedence over the beach. The beach is going to be there. I need to go ahead and get this going. A lot of inventory. Got to get going. So that's a good time when, you, when you're able to make it and you're kind of comfortable or maybe you're, you know, you're, you're able to pay the bills. That's a good time to get, get it going. You don't want to wait till you're like, oh my gosh, you're all stressed out and the money is kind of extremely low. Okay? Because you can't focus and do your best. So this right here, that's why I don't sympathize with the Dusties. A lot of them have been sitting up being dusty, and other people have catered to them. Well, hello, inflation is here. And maybe they can't give the dust buckets what they were giving them before. You can't borrow the car and just go drive around town. Now, the gas prices, I was just, I was out running some errands. Oh, yes, I was just um, at a um, post office. And there was an elderly man complaining about the gas. And I think he was trying to go to a different post office. And he says, oh, that's way over there. For whatever reason, I don't know. And he was like, I just decided to come here because of the gas prices. And I'm like, a post office is a post office. But for whatever reason, just a simple errand. I don't know where he lives, where he's coming from, the mileage. 
He's complaining about the gas and why he chose this post office. I guess where he normally goes. You been to the grocery store lately? So yeah, dust buckets. My point is, I have no sympathy because for too long, some of these dusties they have been sitting up, y'all chilling. Oh, Machiavelli, sitting up, chilling, and relaxing, and somebody else has been providing the three hots in a cot. Well, now money's getting a little tight all across the board. Money's getting a little tight. Me. I used to just trade stocks. You know, I'm along, oh my gosh, to the end. Uh, yo, in some cases, I'm having conversations with other people that trade. I'm doing what they're, they're doing. Sometimes I'm taking more profit. Okay? Everybody wants to keep some liquidity. Anything can go down. Taking more profit. The biggest thing I'm telling you guys about, the, this new opportunity presented to me, I'm going to take advantage of it. This person don't have time for it. I will take the inventory. Let's go make it work so what have the dust buckets been doing a lot of them have been sitting up living up other people but times have changed and when they get very angry a lot of them they may have some felonies again you could have done something there are too many videos they've got people on youtube that i'm looking at they're driving around to upper uh middle class and rich neighborhoods and they are picking up things considered curb alert and then two things considered curb alert there are selling those things at swap meets and also selling them online. Now, a dusty, I think he or she is too good for that. But you know what? They can don't feel sorry for them. They can always get a vehicle, somebody's vehicle, to go and commit a crime. We see it. Drive by shooting, robbery, purse snatching, stealing. They can get transportation. So if they can use that to, to commit a crime, why can't you use that transportation to go and maybe do like those people who don't those YouTube videos? They're going getting things at curb alert. One couple, I see, man, they're not, they've got a little house. Okay. But see, that's work. They get up in the morning, they go to different neighborhoods, and they pick up things that are literally on the curb in, in very nice neighborhoods. They may sell it in their yard on a garage sale. Go to a swap meet, yo, they're getting cash money. They have things, they're going buying storages. Everybody's sort of storage wars. So stop and think. That's why I have no sympathy. This didn't have to be. They've been sitting up, being supported by other people. A lot of them are supported by mammies, by, supported by women. They could have been got something going on, but they didn't want to. They chose not to. And now, I think, when they realize that, uh-oh, money's tight and the mammy got to pay those bills, you know, her rent might be going up. Uh-oh. Even if you have a home, good for you. In certain states, how's that insurance? Insurance is skyrocketing through the roof. You have an older home, good luck. You've got some rep repairs on it. It looks nice. Surprise, surprise. Some insurance companies aren't renewing you because why? Storm season. And they know it's going to be a lot of money. It's going to happen to that home. And we're not talking about some shag. No. Home looks nice. The age of the home. Got to bring it up to code if something major happens. See, people that have money, they're they're constantly watching. They're not just sitting up, oh, eating and sleeping. They say it's easy to get. I don't know about that, but it's harder to keep. Dusty is sitting up doing nothing. So when they get angry, I think things like this happen. I'm just going to go out there and buck these winners out. Man, I tell you, I can't get my way. I'm going to let them know what's up, man, today. That's I'm mad. I ain't got no money for beer. Me, ma was up here tripping. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, I don't know where he gonna go. Mm-hmm. Dust is coming, all nationalities. So this here is just an example of what I think of dust bucket behavior. They bring drama and trauma. And look at the financial implication. Too much dust in the nation. So let me know what you guys think. Again, for these Dusties, what have they been doing? Probably sitting up chilling. I have no sympathy. I have. They could have been gotten something started. And I know it's not always easy, but you could at least try. When you do things like this here, this is certified dust bucket behavior. Thanks for listening. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe. I'm out. Stay safe, people.